This video shows how you can install mods to any Source Engine game that does not natively support mods, like Left 4 Dead 1, Portal, Portal 2, Infra, and so on. It doesn't work with every Source Engine game. Apparently CSGO and TF2 have this locked down. It also doesn't work for Garry's mod because that game is wildly different to begin with. Anyhow, the only things you need is the authoring tools or SDK for that game because we need vpk.exe to pack the mods. You'll also need Python installed and a Python script. Link for both is in the description. And of course you'll also need mods that were built correctly. For example, Back when Portal 2 modding was becoming popular, people told you to edit the content of the pack 01 deer VPK file. That, of course, is bogus. Later in this video I will show you how to install those weird mods as well. But for now, let's install some mods to Left 4 Dead 1. Open the Steam library, search for the game, right click it, go to Local Files and click Browse. You'll be taken to where the game is installed. Look for the game application. Here it is called left4dead.exe. Now we need to open a folder with the exact same name, because that is the main content folder. Open gameinfo.txt. Scroll down to where you can see the game listings. Add a new game line at the very top called mods. The exclamation mark is just there to have the folder appear at the very top thanks to alphanumerical sorting in the browser. Save the game info and copy it. Go back to where the exe is located and make a new folder with the same name you had just set in the game info. Open the folder and paste the game info in it. For this guide I will install the safe room door I had made. So for now, put all your downloaded mods in that mods folder. Next step is to make a Python script containing this block of text. Link to that is also in the description as I have mentioned. Make a text file with whatever name you want, but make sure the file ending is .py, which turns it into an executable Python script. Make sure the icon changes. If it doesn't change, you have just renamed a text file to makepack.py.txt. Right click the blank Python script, open it in Notepad++ and paste the entire script from Pastebin. Towards the top is the VPK path setting, which you must change. Head to the game's bin folder, which only appears if you have the authoring tools or SDK installed. Copy the entire folder location straight from the explorer window into the script. You will most likely end up having backslashes which are forbidden. You must replace all the backslashes with forward slashes else the script will break. Select the entire line and replace backslashes with forward slashes. Make sure that in selection is used. Now unpack the mods you have. What you need is only the materials, models and whatever content folder, except sound, usually. This mod here comes with a pack 01 deer folder, but we'll just ignore that and grab the materials and models inside of it. Copy them right into the mods folder next to the game info and python script. Now you can run the python script. You should at the very least get a pack 01000 VPK, pack 01 deer vpk and a vpk list txt. Now you are done and you can play the game. However, there is one more piece of info. If you ever want to uninstall or install more mods, you must first delete the pack files. If you want to uninstall mods, you have to manually delete the files inside of the materials and models folder and other contents folder if you have them and then repack the vpk. Therefore, it would be a wise choice to keep the zip or rar files of all installed mods in that mods folder 
just so you'll be able to figure out which files belong to what mod for easier uninstallment. Some games like Portal 2 and Infra will do this weird thing when you start the game. The game basically just forgets what settings it has and goes full screen and then closes but is still running but you can't see it and if you try to open the window it just closes itself again. That's because the game, for some dang reason, ignores all the configuration files it has. If that happens, just let the game run for about a minute. You will see that it will randomly create a maps folder, a CFG folder and some other loose files. Once it has made those files, use the task manager to kill the game. Open a second window, which is just the original content folder. As we can see, in our mods folder, we have a CFG folder for configuration. So we'll just copy the entire CFG folder from the original folder into our mods folder. We also have a maps folder, but if we open the maps folder, all we get is sound cache and workshop. So we'll copy the sound cache and workshop folder from our original maps folder into our mods maps folder. The next thing we got is model sound cache, stats, voice ban and workshop block. Copy these files from the original location into your mods folder as well. While recording this video, I forgot the save folder. Games that have save states, like Portal or Infra, have all the save states in the save folder. I forgot to copy them, but you should also copy the save folder into your mods folder, else all of your save states will be ignored because it thinks you don't have them anymore. Now that you pasted all these files into your mods folder, you can launch the game and it should work. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Ah! Ah! Oh God, you look te um, good. Looking good actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare. Now before we end this video, we need to talk about those weirdly made old mods from 10 years ago. The ones that tell you to edit the Pack Zero one Deer for some reason. Here I got an old Portal 2 mod, which turned sweetly into Pinkie Pie. The description says that you have to replace some file names inside the Pack Zero one Now of course we're not going to follow those instructions. But we need the instructions because it says what files have been renamed to what. So paste all your modded files from the materials folder into your mods folder, then go to where those files are and you will see the description of the mod says that most mods have been renamed by adding a 1 at the end. So we'll just take the 1 away. And it also says that the lights file had the lights renamed to lightp. So we'll rename that back to lights as well. Now all of our weirdly renamed files have the original file names that they were supposed to have and now you can pack the mod up and launch the game. And that's about it. If you got any problems or questions regarding source engine modding, join the Dead for Mods Discord server. There are many people, including me, who can lend you a hand. I also have my own Discord server, which is mostly about shit posts, memes and loot stuff, but you can hop in if you want. Link to both are in the description below. But that is all for today. Until next time, goodbye.